Hey teachers, are you ready for the third episode of GG? Okay, let's go. Before I begin, if you haven't watched my previous episodes of GG, I link them in the description below. Our first GG is suitable for grammar tenses that are similar and may cause a bit of confusion. In one of my classes, I was supposed to teach the simple present tense and the present progressive tense. And as you know, dear teachers, both tenses make use of the verb to be, and some students might confuse the forms of these tenses. So this activity is all about differentiating the forms. Let me show you. Pick two students to play against each other. Tell the students to shout the name of the right tense, and the student who says it first gets a point. Students here have to mainly focus on two things, the forms of the verbs and if there are any keywords. You can play the same game to revise different grammar tenses. Our second GG is for none other than the in, on, at propositions. To be honest with you, dear teachers, I hate teaching propositions, but sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do, right? For this activity, I start the class with putting the students into groups. I show them the stable and I give them a paper with random nouns. I tell them to try to match the nouns to the right proposition. Remember, I haven't yet started with the lesson. After a couple of minutes or hours, I go around and take a look. I ask the students to leave their papers aside and I start teaching them the lesson. After I've done explaining everything, I tell them to go back to their papers and be their own teacher and check their answers. I find it really useful picking names of locations the students are familiar with and kind of use and see in their everyday life, like the names of their schools, names of their streets, famous shops, and like that. Here is an in on ad bamboozle game. I found this one very practical. They have to answer the questions using the right proposition. For example, where are you? I'm at a birthday party. It only has six questions, unfortunately, but I like to add additional pictures of other common places we have in our city. Our third and last GG is for the competitive and the superlative adjectives. I know we're blessed with millions of games on that topic, and I'd love to share two of my recent favorites. The first one is from Teach This website. You're basically gonna put students into pairs and they have to complete the question with the right form of the adjective and protect their partner's answer. Students gonna have a lot of fun and you too since you literally have to prepare nothing. Amazing, right? If you're teaching this using Zoom, the website provides an interactive version of the game and the links for both the actual document and the Zoom version are in the description below. Here are some bamboozle, competitive and superlative games I've recently played with my students. The first one is suitable for beginners. As you can see, it has simple adjectives and questions. This one is also practical and fun. They have to answer using the right form of the adjective. For my advanced students, I love this one. It has interesting facts about Australia. They get to practice grammar while enjoying these beautiful pictures and learning something new and interesting. Time to say goodbye. If you haven't found what you're looking for, make sure to check my other GG episodes. Thank you teachers for always looking for ways to make your classes even better and more fun.